What really is absolute time and space? It's a question that has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. Let's unpack this cosmic mystery together. Absolute time, as Sir Isaac Newton proposed, is a universal clock ticking at the same rate everywhere in the universe. Think of it as a cosmic metronome setting the tempo for the dance of the planets, stars, and galaxies. But here's the twist. According to Newton, this clock ticks away relentlessly, regardless of anything happening in the universe. Now let's shift to space. Absolute space is the stage of the universe, unchanging and unaffected by the presence of objects or their movements. It's like the ultimate grid, holding the coordinates of every celestial body out there. But hold on, is this concept of space and time actually real? Enter Albert Einstein in the early 20th century. His theory of relativity turned the tables on Newton's ideas. Einstein suggested that time and space are not absolute, instead, they're relative and intertwined in what we now call space-time. According to Einstein, the presence of mass bends space-time, and this curvature affects how objects move and how time passes. Mind-bending, right? This means that the closer you are to a massive object, like a planet or a star, the slower time moves. Yes, it's as sci-fi as it sounds. And this isn't just theoretical. It's been proven with precise experiments and observations. GPS satellites, for example, must adjust their clocks to account for these effects, or else our navigation systems would be way off. So, in conclusion, while the ideas of absolute time and space make for a neat and tidy universe, reality is far more fascinating and complex. Thanks to Einstein, we now view the cosmos not as a static stage with a universal clock, but as a dynamic interconnected ballet of space-time curvature and cosmic interplay.